All right. I think we're going live. Da, da, da. I'm going to wait for a few people to go ahead and pop in. And we'll get started before too long. Do, do, do. All right. Do, do, do. Just waiting. Got a couple of things we're going to try to unbox tonight. Handful. Uh, a lot of... D it's a little bit of DC stuff. Some Marvel stuff. Uh, Invincible and Sonic. So, hopefully that's a good cross-section of things. There we go. Got a couple people popping in. Hello, hello. So, just like we do every week, we're doing another unboxing. Uh, this night, it's going to be a lot of superhero stuff. Have some DC stuff, some Marvel stuff. Have an Invincible figure, like the Amazon show Invincible. And also Sonic the Hedgehog. So, hopefully that's a decent cross-section. Um, I think the first thing we're going to open up is going to be this Joker. So, had this guy for a while. I've been holding off on unboxing him just to do a, uh, like a thing. So, I'm going to get this up. Am I a Discord mod? I wish. I'm only a group me mod. Like, Discord mod is like when you get a little bit more experience under your belt, I think. But yeah, very fitting. I want to be a Discord mod. I'm, I'm, I'm yearning for it, and here I am opening up Joker. <laughs> All right. So I've not seen a lot of people talk about the Dark Knight figures that McFarlane did. Um, I've only messed with the Batman, the Two Face. Those were both really good. I've not messed with the Bane build figure because I don't have all the pieces. Do not want the Scarecrow. Scarecrow looks bad. Um, but yeah. Ooh, Denison. Sorry to hear that. Oh, hey, what is this? Crack? Crack. Hello, hey, how's it going? Do do do. All right. So, just messing with the Joker. Huh. It's decent. Um, I really like the head sculpt on this guy. Like, it's incredibly solid. Ah, Clark backwards. I get it now. That's pretty cool. I wish I could do my name backwards, but then I would be. What would that be? Naj Ud Nub Nor. Sounds like a Star Wars villain. Uh, my tripod has been giving me a lot of issues these past couple days. It's just about to a point where I need to get it replaced. But I'm going to try to squeeze a few more sessions out of it. Do do do. Ooh, poop. Congratulations. I hope it was a good procedure. Uh, do do do. But yeah, overall, super solid Joker. Um, it's kind of weird that he comes with no accessories, right? He doesn't come with any alternate hands or knives or anything. You gotta stack of cash for the meme, I guess. What do you think about the new reveals to the WWE Elite Action Figures? So many of them look so good. I'm so excited. Um, the ones that, like, stuck out to me the most were, like, uh, I want to get that Hulk Hogan 3-pack. I want to get the 4-pack that has the Becky Lynch, the Hogan, the Stone Cold and the Rock. That looks great. Um, the Sultan looked really good. I need that Captain Lou. The Ultimate Edition Hart Family. <sighs> Super good. Uh, they're re-releasing the, like, 90s Hart Family British Bulldog. So, I'm really excited for that. That Rollins looks clean. Yeah. And then, so I saw the four pack is out. I don't know where to get it. I assume it's a Target exclusive. I'll just wait. I'm going to wait to find it in a store. Um, I don't feel a need to, like, track it down. Because, like, it's cool, but I feel like, I feel like that one would probably be around for a while. Yeah, Target exclusive, I figured. Because hear me out, right? The Rock is in basically every other wave. Same thing, do you have a Cactus Jack? I do, and I'm going to get that Mick Foley 3-pack. That was another thing that I saw. Like, oh my god, another dude love figure, my favorite face of Foley, getting that. Mankind, spectacular, uh, and I want a new Cactus Jack. Is there supposed to be another Ultimate Rollins on Amazon? There is, uh, but I don't remember which attire it is. I just remember that it's happening. I got that Hogan and the Rocky coming. Ah, cool. Um, but that's the thing, right? Um, those are all characters that they make so much that I don't feel like I need to, like, jump on this now. It's not like they're doing, I don't know, a Crispin Wall. They would never do a Crispin Wall, but you get what I mean, right? They're not doing, in that four-pack, there's not a character that's just like, it's never going to happen again. Those are all guys that are in there a lot. 
Can you get figures of 80s wrestlers like Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Yes. And in fact, if you want to, there's a line called uh, Legends at Target. It's a Target exclusive line. And there, that entire line is just they re they make figures of older wrestlers, specifically guys from like the 80s, 90s. Uh, right now, they just released a new wave. It has Brother Love, uh, Old Undertaker, like X, like WrestleMania like 12 or 13 Undertaker. And D'Lo Brown and Kama Mustafa from the Nation of Domination. So that's a good line to collect if you want just the older guys. Um, they did a Hacksaw Jim Duggan a few years ago. You could probably get him for pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, like Mattel's always doing the Legends. You, 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 can, you can get a good collection out of that. There's so many Cena gears that haven't been made yet. There are... But at the same time, like, don't get me wrong, I love John Cena. I love, I buy, like, really every John Cena comes out. But there's, I'm never going to be that person who's like, oh, well, I need this John Cena. It's always like, oh, they did another John Cena. I'm going to go get that. So, just messing around Joker, right? The money stack's fine, but, like, you can't get him to, like, slide down at which you'd want for the meme. So, there's that. Wow, this tripod. Wow, this tripod. This, this piece of crap tripod from Walmart. Ah. Uh, I hate this thing. I hate this thing so much. Do, do, do. Okay. I hope that works. So overall, joke is decent. I quite like it. I don't like the angle I'm at right now, though. There we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. This light. It's going to be a good day when I get to finally toss this light out. I'm gonna, like, next week, I just need to go get a new tripod. I hate this thing so much. That's what you get. That's what you get when you go to Walmart and buy a $20 tripod. It's like, oh, they just get to fall apart. Are WCW figures available, like NWO guys? Yes. Um, they do a lot. So, like, last year, they did a Nash and Hall uh, like that. You can get Ultimate Editions. Uh, right now, you could really easily get Eric Bischoff... Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, uh, Hogan, and Macho Man Randy Savage for your NWO shelf. You can also get uh, Rick Rude from, like, the suited Rick Rude, so that he could go with the NWO. Um, you can get a black singlet, Mr. Perfect. He's from a few years ago, but he's decently cheap. That's NWO. Uh, that's probably going to be your best bet for right now. They're, they're starting up a new Monday Night War line, so there's probably going to be a lot more NWO figures coming out. But those are the guys I can think of just off the top of my head where it's like, if you want to build an NWO collection, you can get those guys. Speaking of, let's move from Joker, right? So, do you like the Mafex symbiote? I don't have any Mafex figures. Uh, I ordered the boys figures. I got Homelander and uh, Billy Butcher, and they never showed up. So I'm going to have to track those down again. But I would love to mess with them. They seem like great figures. Um, but we did Joker. Why don't we do Batman? Just found this guy today, a Batman I've been so excited for, Nightfall Batman. I need to know what this figure is like. Boop. I just recently did uh, a top 10 Batman video. Uh, that was for getting 200 subscribers on YouTube. And I said in that video, like, I feel like this Batman would have been on the list if I had him. Like, I want to see, is that the case? Uh... Also, Retro says that they love the Homelander figure. It looks good. I need to get it. I need to get it again. This time, hopefully, it will actually show up. Uh. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So, um, first thoughts, right? This is very similar in hand to the Hush Batman that I got a while back. Um, the articulation, that's just like butter, my word. That's great. And I love just the overall look. I love how the cowl looks. Um, does the figure stand all right? The figure stands pretty well. Like good balance right off the bat. And then you do have a couple of accessories. It just looks like open hands and a batarang. You know, nothing insane, nothing groundbreaking, but good accessories, good alternates. Uh, which website did I order those things from? Amazon. I ordered them from Amazon. Um, ah, 
Daniel says, uh, holy shit, the, that collection looks amazing. Thank you so much, man. And uh, Mike Cool says, Batman is the best. I like Batman. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah, I like this a lot. Like, I, I'm going to have to mess with him to figure out, like, uh, if he's, like, a new favorite, but I like him. Hey, Frost, what's up? Doing pretty all right. Just doing the, the weekly live stream. And then GG, what is this? GGO614 says, what's new to the collection? So, we've just opened up a new Joker and a new Batman. Uh, what we have on tap is I have Invincible, I have a Spider-Man thing, and I have a Sonic. That's going to be next up. All right. I see some wrestling figs in the back. Do you follow major figure wrestling podcasts? I do. I like them a lot. Um, those sons of bitches have made me buy figures that I didn't need, right? Like um, the ECW toy line. I never knew that those figures were cool. Then I watched their episode about it, and now guess what? I'm 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 buying them. They're great. I love them. But god damn it. If it wasn't for that show, I would have never even heard of them. Um I love them though. They're so cool. Uh Matt Cardona, I've loved him ever since he was Zack Ryder. Like he was one of my childhood favorites, so it's cool to like have a show where it's like, oh, he's just a freaking <laughs> The most expensive free podcast. Exactly. Exactly. Um Frost, I actually was going to ask you about that, but I didn't know how to message you. Um, so, okay. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll figure that out later. Maybe send me a message on the private TikTok, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I saw probably this morning, I think, uh, that it, it seemed to disappear, and I had no idea, like, how do I ask about this? <laughs> do I own any horror figures? I'm afraid not. Uh, I'm not much... I, I love horror films, but there's not many horror figures that really strike my fancy. Cardona flipped me off at GCW last year. Uh, Daniel, you're living the life, man. You you got the privilege, the honor, of being told to go fuck yourself by Matt Cardona. <laughs> okay. We've done Batman Joker. Let's save Spider-Man. Let's go to this. So, I mentioned the Mopex figures. Part of that order was Invincible and Omni-Man. Invincible showed up. Omni-Man did not. I don't know how that happens, actually. Um, it's fine, though. Truth be told, I would have preferred the Omni-Man show up. Omni-Man was my favorite character from Invincible. I like Invincible. He's a good main character. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I like Evil Dad more. So, but let's check this out, right? Because now that I have Invincible, now that I have Invincible, I can figure out, are these figures trash or not? And if they're not trash, then I can just reorder Omni-Man. That's, that's how we're going to play this game. Okay. Got plastic tie keeping the tray down. Oop. Okay. All right. So. So this, the Invincible figures are done by Diamond Select. They do Marvel Select. Um... It's weird, because they they exist in a, like, not high class. They're not high-end figures. They're, like, the most high-end that a Hasbro can put out, right? Because it's not like these things use LED. They always go for, like, the $20 range. And though they typically show up Marvel Legends, it's always, like, I don't know. It, messing with this, though, right? And the articulation's fine. Paint looks really good. Unfortunately, there's yellow mismatch on the torso, but that seems to just happen with yellow on toys for some reason. The skin is super pale. Like, I know my lights are blowing it out, but, like, uh, I'll do a review of this guy, maybe. His skin is just chalk white. Um, but the articulation feels fine. And also, his hips. Those are DC Universe Classics hips. Those are some of my favorite action figure hips ever. So, yeah, rip, rip that line off. Honestly, rip it off, because not enough people are. Um, okay, Frost sent me something. I need an idea for a character design. In a nutshell, the character is a bird man and a scientist. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what is a studious bird? I'm going to say a... Because hmm. I don't want to say an owl or a crow, because everyone's going to say an owl or a crow. What's a studious bird? Maybe like a cardinal? That'd be cool. Like, you have the red. Kind of make a good contrast. That post-fight with his dad. He's lost a lot of blood. <laughs> okay, you're, you're right. This is this is the cadaver variant. Um, 
so, huh. I like this. Like, that's the thing, right? I, I, I'm, I'm really thinking about this. I would have preferred Omni-Man. Omni-Man looks cooler. He's a character I like more. But at least I know this line's cool, right? Because just messing with Invincible, this is this is solid. I don't see scale. So I'm going to pull Batman out. Eh, so, both of these are from a 7-inch line. Mark is a teenager. So I'm going to say that seems wrong. But maybe I'm just, maybe I'm crazy, right? Yeah, Mark is, I think Mark is too tall. So the Invincible figures aren't going to necessarily mesh in with DC figures that well. Then again, like, you know, you could do good something. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's also like a lot of random black marks on the head. Uh, poor paint. Oh, well. We got some accessories to mess with, though. Is Mark Albino? Dang, he is pale. Um, not really. Um, so, like, what do we have here? I'm just looking at some of the accessories. We have an angry face, which you can't even tell because the skin is literally as white as his teeth. There's a great studious bird character on high roller areas for ideas. Here's a cool thing. So I know the Ani Man comes with this too. Both characters come with a catching mitt and come with a baseball. That's, you know, that's cute. That's sweet. Okay, how easy is it to switch hands? Okay. Hmm. Let's put the new hand in. Okay, and now let's switch again. That doesn't feel great. That does not feel great. It doesn't feel awful. It doesn't feel like I'm breaking it right now, but it feels like that is going to break soon. <laughs> Invincible is six foot... Fucking Mark is six feet tall? I didn't know that. I, I watched the show. I never clocked that he was tall. Um, I thought he was like, you know, like maybe 5'9 or something. I thought he was teenage. Well, I mean, teenagers could be six feet tall. Yeah, you know what? That checks out. Okay. So, even then, he's... I'm going to say that's closer than what I thought, but still, he shouldn't be as tall as Batman because I think Batman's six... No, shit, Batman's only 6'1", isn't he? Like, in the comics, Batman's 6'1", maybe 6'2". So actually, with that in mind, that's actually perfect scaling. <laughs> um, that, that actually works really well now that I, now that you've told me Mark is 6 feet tall. Um, Frost says, a design concept I got so far for Bird Guy is his beak is ripped off so he has a mess to cover it up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, maybe he has, like, a plague doctor, doctor mask. You know, like the... Like, he has a fake beak. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. We got a lot of alternate hands for Invincible, so we have... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got some flat... Like, uh, like, flight hands, or maybe slapping hands. Yep, 6 2 two ten 2 10 to two twenty for Batman. Okay, then, yeah. Then, what do you know? Invincible actually scales incredibly well with, um with DC Multiverse figures. That's awesome. So then I know where the Invincible figures are going on my collection. Um, it's more like a face mask covering over the mouth. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, okay, I'm kind of seeing more in my mind's eye what you're saying. Let's try this flight stand out. This flight stand is friggin' something else. Look how massive this thing is. Oh, it's upside down, too. Here. Well, that is some serious shit. Where's this plug in? Just on the lower back. Okay. Okay. Plugs in pretty well. Oh, it is not stable. It is not stable. Okay. Ah, that sucks. I was about to say, like, it's amazing that they gave us, like, this huge flight stand. That's, ah. Uh, oh, well. I spent, like, 15 bucks on Invincible. That's fine. So, overall, I'm going to do a review of this, right? Because... I'm, I'm going to let you guys on a secret. I was going to do a big review that was going to be Invincible and Omni-Man, because I thought that would be cool uh, to celebrate Season 2. Uh, I don't have Omni-Man. I'm going to reorder Omni-Man, and then we'll do a review. I'll still do them both together, I think. Invincible, I like. This has definitely convinced me, like, I should get the other figures, because I know they did Monster Girl, they did Adam Eve, they did Robot. I feel like they did Shrink, Shrink Ray. Did they do Shrink Ray? Or no, they did Duplicate. They did duplicate. Who am I missing? Because they've done someone else. They've had to, because that's three waves. 
So Monster Girl is by themselves. Oh, hey, Don. How's it going? Um, okay, Frost says, and another thing is he's somewhat like the live-action Donnie Ninja Turtle with his gear. Okay. So, like, glasses and, like, all these tablets that he can pull out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Back bend the first bend on the rod. You lose height, but stabilizes. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Got to kind of scorpion tell it. There we go. Okay. Oh, sorry, Mark. Yeah, that works better. I'll be honest, though. You want to know what action figure stands are my absolute favorites? It's just the McFarlane ones. It's They're so good. They're so good. It's just a simple clamp. It works so well. Um, oh, hey, Blackout. How's it going? Um, scrolling and find... <laughs> Mom, pardon me, Mumbo, that's pretty good. I liked that. But yeah, Invincible Solid. I, this is going to drive me crazy. Because I uh, Wave 1 was Invincible and Omni-Man. Wave 2 was Adam Eve Robot. Monster Girl was by themselves. That's just a two-pack. Was Wave 4 was Duplicate. I know Duplicate's in that wave. Who is the other figure? Was it... It has to be Rexplosion, right? That makes sense. It'd be Rexplode. Is it Rexplode or Rexplosion? I always forget. I know the pun. I just don't remember what the full pun is. <laughs> Da, da, da. But yeah, overall, if you were, like, on the fence for Invincible, he's super cheap on Amazon right now. Him and Omni-Man both are. So, like, I'm not gonna lie. After this live stream, I'm gonna go on Amazon and just reorder Omni-Man. I, I don't even care. I'd like the Omni-Man. I would. Omni-Man's pretty cool. Favorite WWE and AEW action figure. Ooh, that's tough. Um, My favorite WWE figure, for nostalgia reasons... Uh, is my Defining Moments Razor Ramon, I think. And my favorite AEW figure is the, uh, the Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes. That thing is just a work of art. I adore that. It might, my favorite active wrestler. That's my favorite figure of him. Uh, Temu has all these Wish version Transformers right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm amazed, like, Temu has, like... You know, every day you see it's like, wow, Temu has totally tuned over Nintendo. No, they haven't. I I'm, I'm waiting for the day I go and it's like, Ron Bondage on, they use AI to like cover up my voice. And it's like, I'm trying to tell people, go to Temu right now and you can get Superman. Uh, I got here a little late, so what are we talking about? So, Don, um, we've already talked about Batman Joker. Uh, this is Dark Knight Joker. Really cool. Nightfall Batman. Love this thing. I just went on like a, like a small rant about Invincible. I like this figure. This is really cool. I need to get Omni-Man now. And then I... I need Adam Eve. Robot will be cool. I don't feel like I need Monster Girl. I don't feel like I need... Uh, who are other Invincible characters I need besides Adam Eve, Robot? The Mauler Twins. If they did the Mauler Twins, I'd buy the Mauler Twins. Uh, maybe the Immortal? Cecil. I'd get Cecil. Um, is there anyone else I just need? Maybe Battle Beast? Because that's just because he looks cool. Um, Supreme AEW figure? Yeah, I mean the Supreme. So, Ultimate WWE. I mean the Supreme. Uh, I just couldn't remember what they called their equivalent to Ultimate figures. Um, but the Supreme Cody Rhodes, to me, I, I have both now. I, re I reviewed both. The Supreme knocks the Ultimate out of the water, uh, for, for Cody Rhodes. Ever had the build and brawl WWE figures, just the Bret Hart and the Razor. They are amazing. And I had them. They're just buried somewhere in my storage room. Um, Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive. My favorite one of those. Um, have they done an Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive? I'm going to say just online exclusive, to which I would then say um, the Ultimate Edition Jake the Snake Roberts that came from the Coliseum Collection. How many WWE figures do you have at the top of your mind? Okay, so right now I'm sitting around like 600. I have around 600. That's if we toss in AEW figures too, but around 600. I'm thinking something unique. What if the bird, the guy, is a kookaburra? You know that bird. I don't, I can't picture a kookaburra. I know I've heard that word before. I don't think I knew it was a bird though. 
I'm very excited for the new Ultimate Asuka. Oh, so cool looking. I'm heartbroken that they canceled that Ultimate Macho, though. I thought that was going to be, like, my new best wrestling figure. Um, is that an extra room or the main room? So right now we are in my toy collection room, and then I have a storage room off to the side, because technically this is a bedroom, and I use the walk-in closet to this bedroom as my storage room. Um, and then the rest of my apartment is that way. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I guess, like, my toy room is just an extra room. It's an extra room. Uh, I ordered a Min on Card Elite 35 Randy Orton. I'm a big fan of him. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know which one that would have been. Elite 35, that would have been around the time that, like, Dashing Cody Rhodes came out, right? No, that would have been more like, like, Stardust era. Yeah, so, Elite 35, there's probably, like, is that that's around the same way where you had Bray Wyatt with the cloth shirt? That's my favorite Bray. I'm just trying to figure out in my mind which one is that Randy Orton. <laughs> let's see your figures. We will. Let's finish unboxing these guys and then we'll go around. Show us your most prized one. That one I can show right now. My favorite figure, my most prized figure, is my first figure. My War for Cybertron Soundwave. I got this when I was young. I've it's the only figure I had for many years, like when I lived in my car. So, this. This is my favorite figure. It's the best figure. I adore it. Do to do. What is it with rainbow bios and a strong... Okay. I don't even know what that means. Um, I got the Supreme Cody for Christmas last year, and the book kept breaking. It's changed it like three times. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry. Do I have Eddie Guerrero? I do. I just got the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero. It is a work of art. Soundwave, yes. Oh, hey, Clark, what's up? Uh, Clock, what's up? I called you Clark. My apologies. Um, have you been to a WWE or AEW event? I've been to WWE events. There's been a few that have come through Savannah that I've been able to go to. Um, you get the Ultimate Logan Paul. I didn't, and I wish I did, because I think it's a cool-looking figure. It's like I honestly didn't realize the pre-order window was up. If I had known, I would have ordered it. It's something against Logan Paul. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think he's a good guy. And I don't necessarily know if he's a good wrestler. But he is a good sports entertainer. He, he, he has a good character. Uh, what's something you want but it's hard to get? <sighs> a lot of my old Hasbro figures, like Hasbro WWFs. Um, I would also love to get, like, a lot of DC Universe Classics figures that are just super expensive now, like, uh, like, Parademons. I'd love to get, like, an army of Parademons. Black Hat says, yo, no way, I live in Atlanta. I just went to Raw, like, three weeks ago. It was awesome. Dude! Fellow Georgian! What's up, man? Um, Chevy Chase 412 says, it's runner-up for figure of the year, in my opinion. What figure are we talking about, Chevy? Ultimate Logan Paul. Everyone's telling me it was so good. And, yeah, I, I wish I grabbed it, but I, I didn't. Because I, I wasn't paying attention. Do you have any Snake Eyes? I don't really do G.I. Joe. I have some of the uh, classified figures. Like, I got Sergeant Slaughter, but he's with my wrestling figures. And then other than that, I just got Cobra Commander, Baroness, a Cobra Trooper, a Bat, and then I got a Crimson Guard today, and a Storm Shadow. And that's all I need, because those are the only <laughs> figures I need. Um, bro, I need the Ultimate Edition Ray Mysterio. It's so good. I thought it looked really cool. But I, I got the Ed, the Eddie instead, because, like, they just don't do many Eddie Guerreros, man. I didn't get the Cody, but got the Logan, thank God. Yeah, you probably made the right choice there, because that Cody... That was Twelve Shades of Disappointment. Hey, you're Sonic. <laughs> um, so, I didn't know Sonic had a cartoon. I went to the store yesterday, and they had these guys out, and I was like, Sonic Prime, is that a new cartoon? I looked up, it's three seasons of it, basically. It's on, It's been on Netflix for years now. Um, basic ideas, apparently there's, like... They did a Spider-Verse, right? They, Sonic is now, like, going to, like, alternate dimensions and, like, meeting different versions of his friends. You can see on the back, you can get, like, Dr. Octopus, Tails, didn't see him at the store. I got this Eggman. He looks like a total dipshit, and his name is Mr. Dr. Eggman. Whole reason I bought it. And then you could get, like, a Jungle Amy. I mean, she looks cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I got Sonic and I got Eggman. We're opening Sonic tonight. Mostly just because the Sonic figures that Jax do, I like them a lot, but they don't... I wish they were more articulated, and it looks like this wave is a lot more articulated. Do-do-do. Mm -hmm. 
what is the rarest WWE figure you own? Mine is the Elite Series 2 Randy Orton. Um, the rarest one I own is the original ringside exclusive NWO Scott Hall. That guy goes for like 200 bucks now. Um, that's the rarest one I own. What is your dream WWE AEW figure? Uh, oh, that's a good question. What is my dream WWE figure? I want them to do an Ultimate Edition. I want to do a. I want them to do a box set. I want them to do a four-figure box set WWE, and it'd be Ultimate Edition Hart Foundation. And I want it to be Bret Hart, Owen Hart, British Bulldog, and uh, Jimmy Anvil Neidhart. Like that's what I want. I want the '97. Hart family. They'll never do it. They'll never do it. I'm, I'm going to get close to that, right? Because they're releasing a 97 Brett in the Elite line. I'm going to pick that up because it looks amazing. They're re-releasing 97 Bulldog. They've done a 97 Jim Neidhart. And then I can get an Owen Hart from AEW and like still one of the jackets from the others. But that would be my, my dream box set. My dream figure is for WWE to do a box set and all the figures to come with alternate head sculpts and all of them to have belts. Um, my rarest is Elite One MVP. My word. You got the Ultimate Razor Ramon Chase or the normal? I got three normal. Uh, I got both, actually. I went to a Walmart and they had both, so I just got both. Um, between the two, I prefer the normal, because I like the yellow and red more. It feels more unique. Just spammed you with 2,000 likes, Jesus! Um, check out the Wrestling Collector Store based out of Stockholm, New Jersey. Absolutely, I will, dude. So, ISPW. They were telling us to check out the wrestling collector collector store. So check that out, guys. I'll, I'll check that out. Here, I'm, I'm I'm gonna I screenshot this so that I can remember to go check that out. But dude, thanks for all the likes. Jesus. Um, kookaburras are birds that live in East Australia, and what I love about them is that they can laugh. Ah, oh, that's good. I collect Monster Arts Godzillas. Dude, those figures look so cool, but they are very expensive. <laughs> So I got Sonic out of the box. So it's interesting. They definitely capture the design well. I assume that the cartoon design is supposed to be like this and very close to the game design. The figure feels very wonky. All these limbs feel very loose. But that's also kind of just what you buy when you get Jax. Overall, I could see this being a decent line. I'm, I'm more interested in the Eggman. Uh, also, he looks like a wrinkled old man because they tried to, like, sculpt in his quills. Maybe just don't do that. Maybe just don't do that. Black Hat says, I like the McDonald's geared razor, which is the normal razor. I got mine from Target in Orlando, Florida. Dude, yeah. And it's also, that's the gear he has on his Hasbro figure, which is, like, another reason I like it. I might get one for Christmas. It's worth $500. Dude, which one is it? Is it, uh... No, I, I don't even know which one it could be. So, Big G Stop Motion. Like, which Godzilla is it? I'm just genuinely curious. Because, like, I feel like Shin Godzilla was, like, incredibly expensive. I'm curious if that's the one that you're looking at. In the meantime, we've opened a Hedgehog. We've opened a Clown. We've opened a Bat. We've opened an, a Viltramite. Now it's time for this. So, came from Hasbro Pulse. They're doing the animation style figures. I love this because it's like the old VHS boxes. That's pretty cute. Uh, but you get Symbiote Spidey and Carnage. I don't have a Symbiote Spidey. I don't have a Carnage. So, hell yeah. <laughs> I had the Hasbro, but my dad sold it, then left... Jesus, Black God. Man, it feels like my dad and your dad would get along. Ooh. Do you have the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero? I do. I just got it at Walmart, uh, like, last week. It is amazing. Love it. I was gonna do a review of it, but then I got Cody through the mail, and it's like, well, I gotta shoot the Cody review now, I guess. Um, I got that two-pack for free. Ah, that's cool. Mechgodzilla Type 3 Cure You. Oh, wow. I bet that's gonna be a cool figure. Like, I, rem I, I don't really, like remember remember the Kiryu design but the parts I do remember it's like holy shit that was big um least favorite WWE figure like um that I own 
There is a uh, Vince McMahon that I have from Tintron Live. It's the single like worst figure on the It is. It is not good. It is not. It's. It is no bueno. Hasbro sent it as a replacement. Oh, that's pretty cool, Soup. I need that two pack. Don says, dude, pulling out the symbiote Spidey. I forgot that they did the blue highlights. That. I love that. That's actually a really good way to, like, break up the figure. In terms of the body, it's the Renew Your Vows body, so you have the toe articulation, which is awesome. Wow. Dude, they're, they're literally just, like, all the all the biggest hits, all the best bits. Unfortunately, mine does have a little bit of black paint over the eye, but, ah, eh, it's battle damage. Carnage punched him. Uh, do do do. That's definitely going on my list, says Don. And then Big G says, and then hopefully I get a different Mecha Godzilla for my birthday that costs three hundred dollars. Oh, dude, yeah, then you can have like a Mecha Godzilla exception. Do you think the torso is too big for the Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero? I did, but then I thought about it. It's like that figure is from like the last year of Eddie's career. Go back and look at it, and like it's unfortunate that figure is really accurate. He he was. I I don't want to get into it because I love Eddie, but like that last year he was alive. Jesus Christ, he was so blown up. And it, it was all drugs, it was all steroids, and it's like, the, so, I hurt myself, like, yes, I think it's too big, just generally speaking, but in terms of, like, likeness to Eddie Guerrero, it is 100% accurate, and that's the saddest part of it all. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. to be honest, I can't be wait, I can't wait for the Ring of Honor Briscoe figures coming out, dude. My favorite tag team. I, I hate that we, I hate that we lost Joe. I really do. But the Briscoe brothers are incredible. I adore them. And yeah, I can't wait for those figures. I got that Spidey on my hand right now. <laughs> Dope figure. Do, 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 do. Most expensive figure right now was $250. It's the Ghidorah special color. Cool. Don says, rest in peace, Eddie. And then I hurt myself, do you have the Ultimate Edition Logan Paul? I don't. I didn't realize it was up for pre-order, so I missed it. And I really wish I got it, because it, everyone tells me it's fantastic. I still can't believe Jay is gone. Yeah. It's a shame, dude. He, he was taken too early. I hate... I hate that Briscoes never came to WWE. And I know they would have been treated poorly, but also that would have been such a huge payday. And also, like... In my heart of hearts, I always wanted to see the Usos versus the Briscoes, because that's, like, my favorite childhood tag team versus my favorite, like, WWE modern tag team. Oh, well. But, you know, he can rest in peace knowing that he was one half of, I'll stick by it, the greatest tag team of all time, if not one of the greatest. Have you ever accidentally broken a figure? Many times. Many times. It's never fun when it happens. I I've done it, like, on a live stream before. I think I had a uh, a Marvel Legends, and I was trying to remove the hand, and the thing snapped on me. And it's just, yeah, it's unfortunate. Right now, my collection is seven figures. My word. Dude, those Godzilla figures add up. Do, 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 do. Thoughts on Chris Benoit? I remember watching him on VHS on repeat in Mexico because I was poor. I grew up with Chris Benoit. Um... Chris Benoit does not deserve to be remembered. I know wrestling fans love him. He was a great wrestler, sure. Um, but here's the thing, right? I think it's really gross how a lot of people will be like, oh, awful, he did such terrible things, but then let's talk for 30 minutes about how fucking cool he was. Yeah, he was cool, but every time I watch his stuff, I'm sorry, all I can think about is the fucking murders. Um, I, I feel like he he's never going to the Hall of Fame. He should not go into the Hall of Fame. Um, because here's the thing, right? Wrestling is great and wrestling is amazing and wrestling is something that uni unites us and it's a great escape, but there's some things that it's like, yeah, you, you deserve to be forgotten. And that what Chris Benoit did was one of them. Um, you know, I feel bad for the guy. He was a victim of a lot of things, uh, drug abuse, mental illness, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple concussions that just completely decimated his reasoning ability uh so i'm not gonna say like he was a monster he's not a monster but he is the culmination of a lot of horrible parts of the wrestling business that have all congealed into one tragedy and if there's any good thing that came out of chris benoit it's the fact that because of him 
now wrestlers have better lives and better pay and better medicine and better respect for no other reason than WWE could not take another controversy like that. Because that, that nearly killed the company. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, Congress was getting involved in, like, trying to take WWE down after the Chris Benoit show. Um, but yeah, if you had to choose between a current superstar versus a legend, which two would you choose? I would love to see... Oh, that's tough. Who do I want to see? I would love to see Shinsuke Nakamura versus Shawn Michaels. For some reason, that feels like that would be, like, an amazing match. I'd love to see AJ Styles versus Bret Hart. I feel like that's like, it's kind of similar to like Bret and Sean, where it's like technician versus high flyer. Um, I always wanted to see John Cena versus Hulk Hogan. I always thought that'd be cool. Um, who else would I like? I think it would be so cool to see like Bray Wyatt versus Macho Man. I don't know why, but I feel like they would have really cool chemistry together. Do to do. Got a lot of comments to catch up on. The most expensive figure they have is $900 Special Color Destroyer. Wow. Like I said, those Godzilla figures go for a lot. I broke my Netflix Wojak and I love that figure. Dude, I hate that for ya. Yeah, it's a shame. A lot of those Earthrise figures, they just self-destruct. Barry says, well said. Um, Cherry Chess says, Benoit as a wrestler was amazing, but him as a person is a no-go. Yeah. Um, deserves no mention. It's pathetically sad. Yeah. By the time he was dead, when I found the VHS, I was also one of his first figures. It was the yellow one. Yeah, and, like, Soup, I, I hope you know I'm not trying to, like, knock you or knock Chris Benoit. People can enjoy Chris Benoit, and it's like, I understand it. I totally get it. You know, Death of the Author does exist. I like stuff that was made by horrible people. You know, we all do. You know, like, I can't say, like, oh, ben Benoit, and then turn around and be like, I love Ren and Stimpy even though Ren Simpy was made by a pedophile. And it's like, you, you kind of just have to figure these things out for yourself and don't let anyone gain your ear and say like, well, you should or shouldn't do this. No, just understand where your line is. Feelings on Ric Flair. And also Soup's talking about the Chris Benoit with the tiger stripes. I think I know that figure. That was a Jax figure. Um, feelings on Ric Flair. Ric Flair legitimately is probably the best wrestler to ever live. He's put more butts in seats and given more credibility to this business than any other wrestler. He was a wrestler who my mom adored, who my grandparents adored, who I adored as a kid. And I still like him a lot. Uh, there's never been anyone who's been able to mesh character with ability, with speaking, with just aura the way Rick has. Um, I think Rick is a dude who has a lot of demons. Uh... I think he's a guy who had a hard time separating the real man from the character, and that gave him a lot of issues, especially later in life. And I think that Rick, at the end of the day, um, I don't think he treats women well. <laughs> um, you know, hot takes with Ron Bonda John. Yeah, no, you, you hear Rick talk, and especially after that Dark Side of the Ring episode came out. And it's like, we, you start to realize... You hear Rick talking, it's like, oh, all these women were always all over me. It's like, how much of that is that, and how much of it was Rick was a drunk asshole, and those women didn't weren't able to say no, um, or weren't able to get away from that. And it's like, Rick is a legend. But it reminds me of a, a line Dave Meltzer had, where it's basically like, Rick Flair is a legend, but no one is more determined to destroy his legacy than Rick Flair himself. And it's like, yeah, I think Rick is kind of his own worst enemy in a lot of ways. When you said tragedy, I thought Shin Godzilla. Who <laughs> am Oh, no. That music. Like... <sighs> Play the Who Will Know music. And, like, just a montage of, like, the wrestling tragedies. Like, you had the Von Erics to that music. Jesus Christ. If you had to choose between a current superstar versus a legend, which two would you choose? I think I already did that one, but, uh... Who's, who's another one I would do? Um... I feel like, hmm, I would love to see Eddie Guerrero versus, who would I go with? And honestly, John Moxley, Eddie Guerrero versus John Moxley. I feel like 
That would be spectacular. A lot of comments got to catch up on. Do to do to do. Um, I would do Andre versus Amos. That would be a cool match. Just the Giants going, yeah. Uh, Mustafa Ali, WHC. I like Mustafa Ali. I hate what they did with Retribution. And it's not even that I hate the idea. I think Retribution could have been cool. I just feel like they gave it such terrible creative. Um, Bray Wyatt versus Jake the Snake. Yeah. D forget what I said about Macho Man. Bray Wyatt versus Jake the Snake. That's the way to go. Quark says, wah, wah, wee, wah. Uh, I have, I have built a Ruthless Aggression Elite display. That's so cool. I love those Jax figures. I need to get more of them. Dwayne the Rock Johnson versus A Rock. That's pretty. No, no, no. Dwayne the Rock Johnson versus the concept of rock and roll. He's just like beating up like the physical embodiment of like music. By the way, what did you think of the villain I made? The guy called Purest Wrath. Um, from what I remember, I thought he was super cool, and I liked the idea that he was supposed to. It almost felt like he was the embodiment of an emotion, which I always think is an interesting way to go. Um. At the same time, I need to, like, go back and, like, refresh on, like, specific details. But I remember liking it. Uh, Vegeta says, I agree. I assume we're talking about the Ric Flair thing. Thought this was Meat Canyon. Hey. Meat Canyon and Bronson Reed. Those are apparently the two people I look like. Don says, respect. Uh, Soup says, I was little and had no clue who he was, and he got me into wrestling is a serious problem. CT is a serious problem. CTE... And here's the sad thing is we knew it was a serious problem in the 70s and the NFL like paid people to be silent. Like they silenced people who tried to aid these athletes. So yeah, CTE is a serious, serious problem. I even wrote a paper on CTE, which is, inc dude, soup. That sounds great. Um, yeah. Um, in all honesty, like it says it is, Crispin Wall is like a, a really good example to show like what's the worst case scenario when it comes to CTE and the effects it has on behavior. Can says, you cannot tell me this isn't me Canyon's secret twin. I might be. Who's to say? Maybe Ron Bon to John was once Ron Bon to Canyon. <laughs> Larry says, who is the goat? Uh, for me, it's always going to be Bret Hart. Always Bret Hart. Dude. Briscoes versus the Road Warriors without a question here. Oh, two tag teams. I even think about that. Uh, I want to see the Usos versus the Hart Foundation. I want to see the Briscoes versus uh, the British Bulldogs. I want to see Edge and Christian versus the New Day. I feel like that could have been incredible. Um, you look like Bray Wyatt. I've never got that one before. I'll take it. I just picked up my whole Transformers collection. I'm unboxing it. Thousands of figures, some in box from the 80s. Dude, that's awesome. Frost says he's basically the embodiment of death and he wants to destroy all life and he thinks a world with no life is pure. Dude, that's... I kind of like that. That reminds me of, um... Necron, the character in DC. He, like, was in control of the Black Lanterns. Mr. Perfect versus HBK. I'm, that would have been a cool match. I'm kind of surprised we never got that. Like, I mean, I know we... I think we had Shawn Michaels versus... Mr. Perfect, but I mean like 2002 Sean versus 90s Mr. Perfect. That would have been so good. Um, show me something from 2002. I don't know if I have anything. Do the roar. Roar. That's a good Shrek reference. Uh, do you have that old WWE Scooby-Doo figure? No. I wish I did. Dream Girl says you're handsome. It's something nice to lie. Oh, hey, Lucas, how's it going? What twin match would you like to see in WWE? Twin match. Ultimate Warrior. Oh, Sex says Ultimate Warrior versus Eddie Guerrero. That could have been interesting. Uh, and his body is a combination of all the heroes he's faced. Ah, that's kind of cool, too. He, he's like the... It's like a super villain serial killer. He takes a trophy. Lucas is eating chicken dumplings. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> My apologies. I'm still working through a bit of a cough. So, while we've been talking about philosophy, we uh, I've opened Carnage. Carnage is cool. Between the two, I think I like this Spidey a lot more. But Carnage is cool because, one, he has, like, a lot of cool accessories. Like, I like this. And also, he has the Cletus Casty head sculpt, which is always pretty interesting. But all right. So, that's another unboxing done. Oh, my man is sick today. 
Oh, I'm doing a lot better. Earlier this week, it's like I couldn't even talk, but doing pretty well. Thoughts on the Million Dollar Man's doing tax evasion? Uh, so, apparently it's not just the Million Dollar Man's son. Apparently he was also doing tax evasion. Um, dude, for so long, it's like, dude, I'm so happy for Ted DiBiase. He's one of the good ones. He's, like, helping people's lives. He didn't, like, wrestling ruin his life. No, it was all just a work. It was just working those poor rubes. And so that sucks. I thought Ted was like a cool guy. Oh well, it happens. In wrestling, you just have to be prepared to find out that everyone you ever admire is going to be a horrible human being. I'm waiting for the day that it comes out that like John Cena is a serial killer or something. Um, is that Mr. Perfect in orange? I do have an orange Mr. Perfect. Tell you what. That's the cost of being a million dollar man. And do this, soup. And then, Frost says not exactly. He's extremely powerful and he's a spirit. He manifests a physical form. Based on different heroes. Cool. Hey, man, how's your week going so far? Ah, oh, it's going pretty well. How are you serious, man? Oop. So, we'll do a look around the room real quick. It's not going to be anything too, like, crazy, because I'm still trying to reorganize in here. But, you know, just general look. Um, so, all throughout here is all my wrestling figures. Someone specifically called out Orange Mr. Perfect. There he is. I cannot wait for the blue Mr. Perfect. That's coming to... Tar Pardon me, that's coming to Target. Um... Someone suffered my childhood by a $200 two-pack. Boy, any Tomasa Ciampa. And are you a fan? I love Tomasa Ciampa. I don't have any figures. Um, on ringside, there's a good one. I just need to get that. You have any Ninja Turtle figures? I do, but currently they're all in a bin. I'm, so, I'm not downsizing my collection. I'm moving other things into the toy room. So, for that reason, a lot of things are being moved around. Um... Right now, the stuff that's still out is basically my Marvel stuff, my wrestling figures. Oh, LJNs, yeah. Uh, do you have Green Tornado? He's the other figure I had in Mexico. Yes! Uh, Hurricane. Right here. That's a good Hurricane, too. He came out recently, so you could probably... If you wanted to get a new Hurricane, you could probably get that guy for cheap. Um, Here's some of my old LJNs. So I have Andre, Macho... This is the new AEW one. That's uh, Darby. Darby Allen. Classy Freddy Blassie. Hulk Hogan. King Kong Bundy. And Cody Rhodes. Whew. Do, 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 do. Have you seen any of the Ninja Turtle last run and stuff? I have. The comic was very good. I adored it. And I have the NECA one. That's like the only turtle I have out right now. What's your most expensive fig, and how much does it cost? Uh, I don't have it out right now. My most expensive figure is the Ringside Collectibles NWO Scott Hall, and it goes for like 300 bucks. Any Jeff Hardys? I do have that. Any Guts or Glory figures? I don't have any of those, I'm afraid. Luke's mom says hi. Hello. Do I have the OJ in still cage? I don't, I'm afraid. Where is my Jeff? Here are my Jeff Hardys. Boop. My Jeff Hardys are right here behind Matt Hardy and Seamus. Just a handful. Hey, by chance you had the dude that was known for his backflips. His name was Evan something. Um, dude known for his backflips. I don't know that one. Brother Nero. We just looked at Brother Nero. No. I'm at a loss. I don't know who that one is. Evan Bourne. No, I don't have Evan Bourne, I'm afraid. Uh, everyone's seeing that I'm a fake wrestling fan. I don't remember Evan Bourne. Um, if you have any Transformers, you're like, Javi the Hung. He also does Godzilla. That's why I like him. I have a lot of Transformers, actually. I don't have any Godzilla, though. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, a lot of my Transformers are also in storage. The cracked yellow face he has was the first hero he faced called the Pell Face Swordsman. That's pretty cool. That's like, um, that reminds me of like old Japanese films from like the 40s and 50s, like Seven Samurai. And you'd have like those titles, like the Pale Face Swordsman. I like that. That's good. All right. So we've unboxed quite a few figures. Jobby the Hong is a YouTube channel, by the way. Oh, dude, I love Jobby. I know. <laughs> I know very well. <laughs> um... With all that said, I think that was a successful unboxing. We unboxed a lot of figures, looked around the room a little bit. Fortunately, stuff's a little bit hectic in here right now. 
Um, but hey, we're going to do another live stream next week, same time, so check us out then. Uh, of course, I got stuff here on TikTok, have stuff on YouTube for Ron Bond John. Check me out there. Just un uh, uploaded a video today, or yesterday rather, that was Cody Rhodes. And then tomorrow, I'm up uploading a video that's about how to build a Legion of Doom shelf. So, once I watched all the Javi Godzilla fig videos, that's cool. Oh, hey, Gustavo. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> um, you got us right here at the end. But hey, thanks for hopping on. Uh, it's super cool of you. But like I said, I got stuff on YouTube, got stuff on TikTok. I'm Ron Bondajan everywhere, so check us out. But thank you, guys. You've been super cool. A lot of fun. Oh, thank you. I like my hair. Um, dude. Yeah. We're like twins. Jonathan and I are twins, evidently. But you guys have a good night. See you later. Um, check us out other places. We're Ron Bondajan everywhere. So thank you, guys.